E for MarketWizard.com and eminiwizard.com. <clears throat> Just about the end of the second hour on May 9th, 2019. Reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. E for MarketWizard.com and eminiwizard.com. Anybody that's coming in, we're using this notion of <clears throat> this 30 and a half to 32 as our next big idea of support. And we can go under it and come back through it, but <clears throat> that's our primary target right back here. And <clears throat> risk and reward comes in now <clears throat> because we've had the primary trade. We can end it at any time. Typically, Zeke and I do not like to guess against the trend, <clears throat> but you can take profits and then hit a bounce again. When anybody's played short side, we've got the primary target of 38. <clears throat> T2 today is actually 35 and a half. So anybody that's coming back into that 38, 37 zone paid for sure. <clears throat> and this four minute chart has been helpful. Drop it back to a five once you've hit it once. <clears throat> Keep an eye on it, and we can get some uh, bounces, especially coming into lunchtime today. If we don't get one at lunch, then forget about it, you know, late afternoon, middle afternoon. But right now, primary trade should be done where traders are saying, I want to make sure I get paid. Why not? And <clears throat> based on this chart, we've washed out that low. I'm going to suggest that for now, this 52 still is a big idea. Get back up above that and the low may be in, but for now we were figuring that 52 should be our aggressive resistance. And obviously yesterday back here at that 68 area, big time, got to get it above that. Big boy's got to push this thing, get it back up there. So anybody that is short side played well this morning, lock profits. We still have a lower target. We can go to any day low today. Next potential target we'd said was 35 and a half to 32 and a half, 32s. So for now, you've got to use that as our theoretical support for profit taking. And this is our big boy OTF predictive chart. Tells us to be very careful as we approach 32s. We've got 4175 back in here. And obviously we're gonna use this area back here as our first significant resistance. Gotta get it back above that 52 if we do. Then the 62s, 61s become available again. So for now, we know it's uh, probably going to be a little consolidation, and then maybe we'll get a bounce. But if we cannot get a bounce uh, through lunch, then probably later today we'll get one. But for now, everyone who has traded short side should protect themselves and make sure you've got something. And this head and shoulder stop, I said this might be a head and shoulder stop, has played out beautifully. Don't be a hero just closing your eyes trying to buy. <clears throat> you know, have a plan. Best time for a bounce should be at lunchtime, but there's no guarantee that we can hold once we get into this type of a knife. And usually what happens is it'll take you <clears throat> 25 minutes to, to get that bounce you want, and in five minutes it can be undone. And tunnel through time. Got a couple of more targets lower, but risk and reward is definitely coming in now. Just gonna follow this for now. Okay, and, and step by step, we know that we're never gonna get the last little tick. We're never gonna get the first tick on the buy side. It just doesn't happen. So be content to catch, catch pieces of the moves and then accumulate day after day. 
All right, I hope you enjoyed this morning's session. I did. I had a ball, and you guys were uh, very good with your posts and helpful, and I love this team. We've got a great team here.